good morning sima good morning sir so first of all let me thank you for taking out the time thank you sir thank you for giving me so, opportunity i welcome you sima for this session and i have a couple of objections for you when the scholar start the phd or the thesis work the scholar is absolutely clueless how to start and the first thing the scholar is told to go for the review i remember 10 years back it was only the review but today there are so many terms like hybrid review slr then there are uh, a technique which i think uh, gained popularity in the last 2 years is bibliometric analytics and i have seen your profile on the four publication on bibliometric so far out of which three are there in introductory and you are a reviewer also of many of the paper so guys uh, currently simar is working as a uh, academic associate in esb mohali and we are very fortunate that he will discuss with all these topics today with us over to you simar you may please start thank you thank you thanks everyone thanks sir for a uh, wonderful uh, information as you have introduced literature reviews nowadays not uh, not are a, not only a chapter of our thesis uh it is a journey which we all have to uh, uh, we all we all have to cover and uh, uh, through literature reviews there are uh, there are wonderful opportunities for uh, young researchers to do a uh, good papers even my first paper was on uh, uh, literature review and uh, it uh, it not only served that purpose paper purpose it serves many purpose it give me a direction it give me a direction to set my objectives give me a direction to uh, do my empirical papers uh, and if i have empirical paper that is only due to my slr because due, uh, this slr give me future directions so this day uh, we will discuss about different kind of literature reviews my main focus will be on publication aspects and uh, i will be more covering the hybrid reviews bibliometric plus systematic review because my most of the papers are on bibliometric plus systematic review so let's start uh, so agenda for the today's class is we will start with the literature review theory we will discuss how why uh, introduction to literature review why literature reviews are important uh, and what are the uh, some good journals which researchers can target uh, then we will discuss types of slr domain based slrs uh st structural slrs bibliometric hybrid or uh, and uh, uh, different kind of uh, framework agendas we will discuss today we will also discuss some problems which researchers actually face while publishing uh then we will uh, discuss in the second video we will discuss how to plan the review in the plan the review we will discuss the research protocols research strategies similarly in the conducting the review we will talk about different databases bibliometric databases how to get data from different bibliometric uh, da uh, databases like scopus web of science avasco google scholar and uh, uh, we will also talk about which uh, which uh, databases uh, scholars should specially focus uh, then we will discuss screening criteria uh, quality assessments selection criteria we will also discuss different type of uh, data analysis in uh, bibliometric and uh, systematic what are the different frameworks or what are the different ways to uh, report the results in the end we will uh, discuss the important part reporting reporting i will be focus on my papers and uh, i will most focus on interpretation in this video we are not going to focus on tools and techniques we will discuss we will discuss how to interpret it we are not going to uh, teach any uh, tool tool or technique they are already there are many videos in there uh, which i but uh, by the purpose of uh, this session is to uh, to give you uh, some technical tips for publication purposes okay let's start the days first what is a literature review uh, literature review can broadly described as a more and less systematic way of collecting and summarizing uh, previous research uh, literature reviews always plays an important role as a foundation for all types of research how justin paul and creado has defined it 
literature reviews are comprehensive uh, comprehensive overview of literature related to a method theme and theory actually researchers uh, mostly know about the literature review on themes only like they are doing a topic uh, blockchain and finance uh, they just know about that theme blockchain and finance but in actually you can there are many options in the literature review like i have stressed method theme and theory on theme literature reviews are popular already popular even on methods there are many uh, reviews are there uh, there is a review on sam sam in psychological research uh, maclum and austin has done this review the review is published in annual reviews annual annual reviews is a very well uh, uh, very well established journal in the review in uh, management reviews uh people have also done many reviews on algorithms uh, like deep learning in finance uh, machine learning uh, uh, deep learning in finance reinforcement learning in uh, uh, healthcare there are uh, many reviews on the methods similarly on the theories there are many reviews like people have worked on uh, planned behavior theory uh and other theories uh in the marketing or management aspect people have worked uh, people have given many theories on this uh there is a good paper by william at all that is published in jeim uh, uh, again a very good journal many reviews are there uh they have done a they have done a review on uh, utot on utot they have done a review on singly on utot so you can do all these kinds of review you can work on utot uh, if you are not focusing on themes uh, you can work on theories or methods you can so review uh, review papers are critical evaluation of previous studies that have already published by critical because you try to find out what researcher have skipped so you can focus on that review articles carefully identify and summarize the relevant literature and contrast the finding of previous studies in a domain review studies provides the re uh, readers a current state of understanding or state of the art understanding of the research topic means what are the gaps and what are the future avenues of the uh, research uh, a part of these uh, systematic reviews are a recognized form of reviews in management in uh, although uh, reviews has a history in medical or physical sciences but in management they are gaining very much popularity and uh, reviews always serve as a springboard for your future research because when you are in first or second year you are not sure about which variables you will pick which uh, what will be your dependent independent mediating moderating so review can fill your purpose if you do a review you can find research gaps you can find research directions and uh, you can do many of things on that review will serve as serve as a, your guide because in first and two year what happens uh, all persons make their like like me all person read 20 to 30 papers or 40 papers maximum and uh, they write a research proposal and in future stages they think uh, if they have done better if they have read more literature uh, they can reach at a or high tier journals uh, that uh, that purpose uh, but because you have worked only on 30 or 40 papers you don't get uh, actual gaps but are needed so systematic reviews or any kind of uh, structural reviews can fill your purpose even in uh, you can start your publication from first year or second year you can focus on uh, slrs bibliometric in third and fourth year you you can get clues for your empirical work so it will serve as a guide a complete guide and uh, there are many 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 journals which are uh, accepting only review papers like international journal of management reviews international journal of management review is a well established journal in management category is it is the second or third uh, third journal in the management category that have a highest impact factor its impact factor is more than 10 so it is a star journal 
similarly academy of, academy of management reviews is also a star a star journal you can not in starting days but you can target you can see uh, articles from that journal of economic surveys is there journal of economic literature is there these both journals are a category journals management review quarterly is there it is scopus q1 journals and uh, it is a very good journal i have personal experience uh, with it uh, and uh, two papers in it uh, in this journal management review quarterly you can target these journals these are these journals accept only review papers systematic reviews hybrid reviews bibliometric reviews uh, theory based reviews all kind of reviews these journal accept a part of this many big journals uh, announce uh, uh, at least one or two special issues in a year on uh, as on the literature reviews like uh, international journal of consumer affairs is a good journal in marketing that journal announce one or two special issues every year and uh, international business research is there that also announce uh, every year one or two issues uh, on uh, literature reviews ibr is good journal jbr is good journal journal of business research uh, it also publish many articles uh, journal of qualitative research in financial markets is also good one so you can target there are plenty of journals that accepts literature reviews but it should be a guided review it is not like in the old day review that don't has any theoretical contribution it should be a guided uh, it should have a proper protocol we will discuss all the points uh, in that uh, any doubt till this point uh, everything is clear Simon. okay okay sir okay so in the second part now we will discuss about different types of slr uh, or different kind of reviews actually because uh, why slrs why i'm why i'm stressing so much on slrs because i have a personal experience uh, your bibliometric reviews your single bibliometric reviews uh, does not have any uh, theoretical contributions so i always prefer hybrid reviews my most of the reviews are bibliometric plus systematic bibliometric plus structured so i always prefer slr because i don't i i think uh, pure bibliometric which focus only descriptives and uh, one or two mapping techniques i think it is not going to be published in high tier so you should have a toolkit proper toolkit means you should have a knowledge of every kind of review and uh, it is not a uh, so it is not a hardcore science that i give you a framework you will apply the framework and your paper will publish it is not like that um, as we are management student management is always a social science and uh, you have opportunity to play you should know about different kinds of review should read about best papers on each review i have attached these papers i have given link of these papers uh, with every example i have tried my best and uh, what you can do uh, you can see the paper its structure and you can modify it means you can do something like something from framework based review something from structured review you can you can uh, develop your own framework like it is not uh, something like someone has used prisma and prisma will work for you this is not you have to decide your framework you should have knowledge about them because you know about when you read about 100 or 120 papers about your paper about your uh, topic you know about your literature you can uh, do segregation you can summarize summarize it you can play with it actually so we will talk about different kinds of review first we will talk about domain based review domain based review can be divided into uh, four categories majorly structured review frame based uh, based review bibliometric review and hybrid review and uh, uh, domain based reviews uh, firstly structured reviews are the most common type of uh, domain based review 
and uh, my two papers are uh, a mixture of uh, basically uh, bibliometric plus structured reviews actually what is structured reviews in structured reviews most stress is on what are the methods used in your literature like how many times sam has been used uh, like one paper has used sam 10 paper has used sam how many uh, papers have used multiple regression and uh, it is not about only reporting they have used 10 times multiple regression or they have used 45 times sam you have to interpret it like if sam is used for 45 times you have to interpret it why a researcher used that method particularly for research uh, similarly you give the knowledge about theories uh, like uh, in one of my papers uh, i will show that paper uh, after all this structured review content in that paper i have given all the theories like my phd topic was on momentum investing and uh, in that momentum investing i have given all the theories uh, basically we in momentum investing i have two kinds of theories uh, behavior based theories and uh, rational theories so in that paper i have given all the explanation which theories are used which methods are used which were the constructs basically you show all this in the tables and figures why you show it in tables and figures uh, these are uh, these fill the purpose of novice researchers like someone i don't know about much about artificial intelligence and marketing and i want to know about artificial intelligence and marketing what i will do for artificial intelligence and marketing what i will do i will try to find a structured review structured review will give me a knowledge but math thirds have been used in structural in uh, in blockchain and uh, in uh, artificial intelligence and marketing like it will give me some information about blockchain is used in this kind of papers uh, deep learning is used in how many times uh, machine learning is used in how many times reinforcement learning in, is used in how many times so it will give me information and give me some interpretation like and give me some clues like reinforcement is a new thing uh, i think uh, and uh, in blockchain uh, uh, cryptos are old thing but uh, uh, identity identity identification identity personal identification uh, digital advertisement uh, blockchain in digital advertisement these are new things so i will get the clue uh, what are the my core themes and uh, what are the emerging trajectories or uh, what are the uh, you can say what are the research gaps okay so such information like methods theory they are given in well designed tables proper tables are there and uh, in the end of the day structured reviews always always uh, give a knowledge about research directions that is a big plus point of the paper that is the theoretical contribution of the paper uh, we, you not uh, you get the idea about research gap like you get the ideas yeah in artificial intelligence um, blockchain is the area on which less work is there uh, uh, that uh, uh, machine in machine learning deep, deep learning is the area on which less work is there or in recent year more researchers are focusing on deep learning in uh, uh, marketing and similarly you get the clues which theories have been focused like there may be more work on uh, 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 tp uh, theory of planned behavior u.1 u.2 or even u.3 but in on information diffusion theory there may be less work so you get these clues from structured reviews structured reviews basically have five to ten useful tables and uh, these tables take a lot of time these are not easily built and if you want to see some classical papers on the structured review you can see white paper you can see paul justin paul has a lot of work on structured review you can see his papers uh, i have taken some glimpses from justin paul paper his paper was on five decades of research on fdi by amenis uh, what he have done he have given the main variables which are used what, what were the dependent variables and their count 
uh, and also in which countries the most research was conducted what were the home countries what were the host countries similarly he has uh, given some uh, findings of the papers this is also a good practice is you can uh, give the major findings uh, in the table he also given the main statistic, uh, statistical method used in fpi research like ols is used bar is used co integration analysis and which papers have used so this is the main idea of structured reviews uh, i will try to show you one paper of mine which i have focused on structured reviews particularly uh, sir are you able to see my paper uh, yes uh, we are able to see can you please uh, remove the sidebars uh, like bookmark you can remove it will be zoomed then uh, okay 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 like in this paper uh, although this paper is not pure structured review it is a mixed paper but in that paper on that uh, there is a bookmark yes sir yeah okay and also uh, okay. yes sir uh, in that paper but i have tried i have given the various theories uh, which explain momentum investing uh I, although i have not made tables you can present it in the tables because it was my first paper i was not that much aware at that time but you can do it in tables in figures uh, i have tried to give an a small tables uh like this what are the top papers in each cluster uh, like you have to inform what are the theories in the main paper like in this paper i have given explanation explanation is kind of theories actually and uh, sources of momentum profits uh, sources are just like of uh, uh, your what are the main variables you know so sources are just kind of that and uh, i have given methods how people can uh, formulate uh, uh, different portfolios so you can shape your paper in uh, in the form of like this uh, your earlier your first paper can be structured review your first paper of your career can be structured review so you can focus on actually i ask you to focus on structured review any question till this point sir yeah simar can you please show the title of that paper which you have shown okay 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 sir uh, okay i am showing the title of that paper uh, that paper has a title momentum investing a systematic literature review and bibliometric analysis it is published in mrq management review quarterly and i one more paper i have that is more kind of structured review this is my recent paper mapping the literature on financial well being a systematic literature review and bibliometric analysis and it is kind of a primary database uh, based means uh, that paper was focused on for empirical secondary but this paper is more primary so you can see something from it it will be helpful for you for primary guys how to represent the, uh, things on there and like in this paper we have stressed on uh, various variables various theories various constructs which are well, like we have given antecedents and outcomes uh, which uh, antecedents at individual levels uh, what are the antecedents family level and what were the outcomes of the paper you can give a shape this kind uh, to your paper you can do more than that because i was at earlier stages you can do more than that you uh, but every structured review there should be proper stress on discussion and future direction because this is the outcome of the paper this is the area where every new researcher ignores the, this area they report the tables they do everything but what is this this is the area that should at least cover 20% of your paper you should give proper research gaps like this what are the future directions it should be proper in a table it is not about one or two direction it is about giving seven or eight areas where future researchers can focus 
you have uh, you have reviewed 100 articles or 120 or 200 articles but you, if you if you don't give research directions and gaps your paper has theoretically no value and it will not publish in high tire like this paper is published in unesco journal in international social science research it is just published they have stressed us to more focus on research direction they said you in descriptive you can uh, you can remove a table or you can show less but we need this part okay so every structured reviews this is the main outcome so you have to focus on this outcome i think uh, everyone will be cleared about research, uh, uh, structured reviews now we will uh, we have a session thank you sir now we are we will discuss frame based uh, frame framework based reviews these are new kind of thing and for marketing guys i will say this is a blessing because uh, what it does uh, in framework based reviews you first read your paper you get the information about different frameworks and uh, you try to divide or try to categorize your literature in different uh, different sub parts of a framework like popular most popular framework is tccm theory construct characteristic and methodology it was again given by justin paul justin paul is a very active researcher in this field in marketing field especially he do a lot of reviews you can see his paper his papers are wonderful most of them are in journal of business research international journal of consumer affairs and uh, international business review these three in these three journals he has most of his papers but they are all excellent uh, you can divide like first you read your paper you can divide the paper in what are the main theories then you made a table of theories how many theories have been used like how many papers have worked on you taught 16 papers have taken you taught um, and what were the main findings of that paper what they report how to interpret the things uh, we will discuss each framework in detail this is a new kind of thing and i will suggest you if you can do your literature review and you give it uh, you give a shape to it it can hit a high tire journal even these days i am trying framework based reviews and it is not about using a particular framework like in tccm if, if in your research uh, if in your research constructs are not there you can use tcm theory characteristics and methodology in your research uh, let it be characteristics are not there you can use theory construct methodology so you can modify you can play just you have to similarly you can use 6w and tcm both you can use ado and tcm both so we will in next part i will mainly there are i think uh, there are four or five major frameworks in uh, marketing but i will stress on uh, three frameworks miss uh, basically first is 6w framework by calhan second is tccm by justin paul and rosando uh, third is ado by paul and benito and uh, lim et al has an excellent work on that it lim marin mccurd from rmit these guys have done a very good work on ado uh, firstly we will discuss 6w framework uh, every when i co when i talked about frameworks there are two kind of frameworks one is structural frameworks how you shape your paper other is literature uh, methodological frameworks methodological framework means every every review paper whether is a structured whether is a hybrid every good paper has a three principle that principle is comprehensiveness your paper should be comprehensive it should cover all the literature uh, no relevant article should skip if a single article is skipped your quality will be in doubt you have to ensure that comprehensiveness and i will discuss in detail to ensure comprehensiveness 
which methods you should uh, use apart from keyword searching uh, second is com apart from comprehensive second is transparency your process should be transparent everyone can see this and third is the replicability one of the important principle in big journals what happened i send a paper in taylor and francis uh, that journal name was financial librarianship uh, that is a good journal financial librarianship you can target it it also accepts review papers uh, only review not only review it all accepts empirical paper i send a paper there they send me uh, similar to uh, also send your search queries and everything and uh, they matched the records exactly and they said similar uh, but but you have mentioned you have mentioned you got about something about 532 papers but uh, we are getting only 502 papers 30 papers are lacking something is wrong in your key strings or the search strings you have uh, mentioned us so always it is not going to be situation like that uh, high tire journals don't check this high tire journals demand replicability these strings or the search query you give to high quality journals they actually uh, run that query on scopus and web of science and match your results so always have a eye on that and uh, when you do that when you do this this is a kind of uh, methodological framework 6w always think about six things uh, like this Callahan has mentioned and i personally like this what are these things who who conducted the search for the data uh, like why we are stressing on who who is done who is answered uh, due to uh, due to ensure there is no validity error to ensure reliability and validity but we are expected in slrs we are expected not only one person do all the searching part they expect the searching part should be done by one, one one person will do the searching part second person will confirm it like i and nira sir are working in a project and uh, i do the searching initial searching uh, i give the strings to sir sir will validate the results that by who who conducted the search who conducted the search for the data always mention in that uh, uh in shorts because in journals our identity has been hidden so in short like in like for simarjit singh it is represented as ss ss has done initial search and then uh like neeraj sir neeraj koshi nk has validated the search something like this so it will be answered like who when when were the data collected why why this question is important when were the data collected actually you are like you are working on a project and the project name is social media marketing someone has uh, did a slr uh, five year back on it and uh, for justification uh, you will mention that person have focused on let it be 92 2010 or 2015 you are now focusing on uh, 95 to 20 and you are mentioning that in these five years there are a lot of papers there are a lot of new suggestions so when means time period for which you are collecting the data uh, for like for my paper you can see uh, this was my paper uh, you have to clearly mention the time period in the paper uh so that some someone other can uh, uh, follow it like for this paper i um, for, i have covered the data from 93 to 2019 you have to mention all this the your time period so your uh, your when question will be answered and you have to justify it why you are taking this particular time period like for me 93 was the year first year on which mom, uh, there was the first paper on momentum investing so i have started from 93 
it is not always that you will take from the that year from which first year has uh, on which first paper has on on that year on which first paper was come if you have some other justification you can also do like uh, in my second paper i worked on alternative momentum investing on alternative momentum investing i focused on i focused on papers from 2008 to 2020 why from 2008 sorry from 2009 uh, why from 2009 because in actual research in in alternative momentum research most of the approaches came after global financial crisis in 2008 or subprime crisis in 2008 that's why i mentioned uh, that 2009 means you can start from the year on which first paper has been published or you can start from other but you should have a strong justification for that why you are covering that period third is bear bear means from where the data was collected we will discuss it in detail but i will give you some hints like in it you you give the information you have used which database you have used scopus you have used web of science you have used avasco host you have used microsoft academic you have used google scholar means from where you have collected the data you have to mention why you have to mention again the purpose is replicability and transparency all these are the principle you have to ensure it how how means although how does not start from w but the author say in how w is the last word so that's they that's they that was the reason they said it is 6w uh, in 6w how they focused on search approaches how, what are the search approaches like most of most of uh, most of the scholars now there is only one way to do the search that is keyword searching but this is not the true keyword searching is not only the technique keyword searching is a technique but to supplement keyword search you can use forward referencing is a good technique we will discuss in detail uh, backward referencing is also a good technique uh, so you have to mention all the search approach like you have done keyword searches key and some important papers are missing from it and uh, someone will suggest you you should go for uh, forward and backward referencing but it will do uh, you in your first revision it will change the entire data set for you you have to do all the things in uh, you have to do all the things in repeat you have to do most of the work repeatedly you have to again start the paper if you have uh, don't follow the approach and this happened with me in actually in first paper i was not aware much about these techniques and uh, i simply mentioned that uh, jagdish and titman was the brilliant paper in my field almost all the researcher have referred that paper that's why i am using uh, uh, backward referencing in that uh, sorry forward referencing in that and uh, authors uh, and uh, uh, that was submitted in mrq and uh, reviewers re reviewers have a strong doubt he said some somebody have not used the momentum word or somebody from the computer guy he has not used the jagdish and titman paper they may have used recent paper so these all doubts came you have to ensure that these doubts don't came okay so we have to ensure all the search approaches are properly used third is what but mentioned what is your inclusion criteria what is your exclusion criteria this is important why important because you design the objects review papers also starts with designing the objects or formulating the research problems and you have to uh, choose an inclusion criteria like in most of the papers we select only peer reviewed journals uh, because due to quality concerns we journal, we accept peer reviewed journals and if you are targeting very high tier journals a journals like international journal of management reviews or academy of management or journal of economic surveys you are targeting these kind of journals you have to also use quality parameters quality parameters like 
you uh, you cannot use every paper in the scopus there can be a criteria like some persons use abdc in abdc they select only a and a star papers this may be a quality criteria somebody use abs criteria abs criteria are more uh, common in uh, europe uh, they may select only that paper that have a AB, abs rating of more than 3 or 3 like abs 3 or ac uh, a, a a c uh, sorry a j g is also called it uh, nowadays it is called a j g uh, ajg3 ajg4 ajg4 star this may be criteria and you have to select that paper exclusion criteria may be you have uh, you know you know only english you have focused only papers that are published in english and uh, you work in management domain uh, and uh, you you don't uh, focus computer papers or it papers this can be your exclusion criteria and uh, some other strict criteria may be there means a uh, purpose of this 6w criteria is a single purpose single purpose is that to ensure the comprehensiveness transparency and replicability this is only the purpose of the paper and in the last by by means final selection why you have set that 48 papers or 49 why you have eliminate those uh, the papers by means you answer the why in this and for more details if you want to see how this framework is used there is a very interesting paper and it is very much cited paper by zai at at all uh, the paper's title is country specific determinants of cross-border mergers and acquisitions a comprehensive review and future research direction it is a very very well written paper even i followed that paper in one of my i am following that paper in one of my coming papers uh any question till this point uh yes yes sir Srimad, am i yes sir. yes sir i can hear you uh, one question was from the structured review in the previous yes, section when you explained is there any minimum number of studies that are required in the structured review okay very good question sir actually there is an there is not a any minimum number of uh, studies uh, used for structured reviews but at least you should have 40 50 you should have so that you can give it in a framework you should have 40 50 if you have five or ten i think you cannot do this uh, you should have at least 40 you should have uh, but there is not a benchmark criteria even on some new fields i have seen the papers that covered only 20 to 30 research studies so there are no criteria it is all about the contribution what is what is the theoretical contribution but are, are you able to derive future directions from these 30 papers if you are able and they are uh, they are noble you can do that okay thank you so much my second question yeah. is uh, why explaining six framework you use the term forward and the backward can you please explain in layman language what is that forward uh, yeah actually i will cover in later part but i will give you some yeah it is necessary to give some like uh, forward or backward referencing is just like uh, what is uh, first i will talk about backward referencing what is backward referencing like uh, there is a recent paper in a field 2020 that paper will try to cover all the major papers already that has published on that area like on my field momentum investing there is a recent paper in 2020 in in the in its references part all the major papers will be there okay means we go backward and we check that references whether that that papers are included or not if they are not included we include it in our data set in forward we go in a reverse direction like in my field uh, there is a paper uh, called jagdish and titman are the very well very very respected guys very famous guys in the field and they have written first paper on uh, momentum investing 
and almost every paper almost every paper have cited that paper so to cover the to ensure that no relevant article is missed in my paper what i will do i will see the first paper or first some core papers in my field i will i will check who have cited that paper which persons it is possible in scopus and web of science don't worry it is possible in scopus and web of science you don't need to do any manual work it is possible you will see whether the paper who have cited it are they relevant or are they are in my data set if they are relevant they are not in your data set you include so it is a forward way you see the citation the papers which have cited in the back in backward referencing you see the references of that paper that paper the new paper new paper that have cited the paper and you say you see this that cited paper that referred paper uh, i think you got some clue sir yes it is clear thank you you oh. okay 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 can i continue sir yes please okay please continue uh, okay so next approach is very famous approach and for marketing guys please please do in, uh, this is a hot hot thing in demand this is like something uh, that is in trend tccm and uh, i have seen in even in 21 i have seen four or five articles on singly on marketing that has followed tccm i have mentioned all the two but i have seen four or five and they all are in high tire journals they are in a stars and a so you can follow this approach tccm and for marketing guys i think it is an easy thing they can they can give this uh, framework approach to their paper they can divide or they can classify their paper in these four parts if if the four parts is not possible you can do in three parts it is all about uh, classifying your literature it is all about i think uh, accounting is the subject everything uh, everyone read that in accounting we are told for we are taught first journal then from journal we go to ledger okay and review papers i feel are just like that uh, first you have 100 papers you read that papers you read their abstract you do their full readings and then you classify then you try to classify like in ledger you made different account furniture account capital account you made that account in as slr theories con, con, uh, context constructs methods they are your accounts and they have some sub parts you also classify in that it is like that so in tccm we have theories we discuss what are the key theories used in a research. We discuss this. We discuss context of the research. What, what we need to discuss in context part, we need to discuss the countries, in which countries research are conducted, and why in that countries research, are con research is con uh, conducted. Like most of the research in artificial, do artificial intelligence domain is mainly conducted in China and the reason of is the reason of is is that ethical and moral laws are comparatively flexible there as compared to us or european countries so more research on artificial intelligence and blockchain in healthcare is done in china not in us i was surprised when i see this fact and i try to find the reason for it it is not about my basic uh, crux of the all the thing is that it is not about reporting the things is only you also try to find the answer why 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 the research is more more research is conducted in china you have to find out like in my paper i found uh, in momentum investing more research was conducted after 2008 i have to find reason the reason was that in global financial crisis most of the traditional momentum approaches suffered a lot investor lose about 100 percent of their amount so the people start to devise new methods 
how to prevent these losses so the my point is that when you mentioned particular country in that particular country ai ai uh, research is more in particular industry ai research is more anything we mentioned that in any prospect the research is more we also try to mention the reason behind it like uh, blockchain industry blockchain research is more conducted in advanced countries in uh, why it is not conducted more in uh, uh, not and why the research is not there or why the companies are uh, not adopting the blockchain in uh, indian context or uh, in uh, uh, emerging market context or efficient frontier countries efficient frontier countries are uh, the countries which are uh, developing but but less developing the countries like egypt uh, pakistan these are these are these sort of countries so uh, in industry uh, in every prospect you need to give the reason why the research is conducted more in that in india what was the what is the main reason blockchain is uh, less adopted in financial services industry as compared to advanced country uh, Nira sir give me an interesting clue about that when we was discussing something about blockchain he said scalability is a similar big issue i agree scalability is a big issue we don't have so much servers server rooms scalability is a big reason so you have to give the reason why in particular industry why in particular country that thing is more more research is done in that area that is uh, that is the uh, that is context then we talk about con con uh, constructs i think this is the most important point where you will get the ideas about empirical research you get to know what are the dependent vari variables which have used independent what are the moderating variables what are the mediating variables you will get these clues from constructs similarly we will uh, you can give the information about methods what are the data methods used uh, quantity method used qualitative method used what are the method and you can further segregate that in qualitative focus interviews are there delphi is there other techniques are there in quantitative sam is there pls is there regression is there and many techniques are there you can segregate sub segregated that it is all about giving a shape or giving a framework to your research uh, and you can mention about data sources from where like you can mention uh, uh, sample sizes in that uh, hundreds uh, zero to hundred sample and uh, 20 studies have taken sample 0 to 100 100 to 200 15 studies has done it 200 to 30 300 to 400 it is all about summarizing how you summarize the things and now you will ask if you uh, if we had not reported uh, discussions and uh, future direction what is the benefit of this thing the benefit of this thing is that like i am not from marketing i am a finance guy or i do some work in blockchain and fintech so i don't know much marketing i want to i want to do a research in uh, marketing i will see a systematic review i will check which are the dependent variable more or stress which are the independent which are the moderating it will give me a hint of all the things in which uh, current state of the art it will give me it it will serve that purpose even for your phds or anything when you are designing your proposals or anything that's why i said you before your proposal complete at least one review so that you can have complete knowledge and uh, if you want to see more papers on C tccm uh, this is the paper i think this was from marketing and uh, because i am giving more example from finance or it and i have tried to give some marketing days performance consequences of marketing standardization and adaption a systematic literature review and future research and agenda mandler excellent paper they have adopted tccm three decades of research on loyalty program Chen at all, it is also an excellent paper. You can see that paper. Similarly, ADO approach is also there. In ADO approach, 
we uh, we discuss about you can see Paul and Benito 2018. This was the first paper on that. Then the best paper which I ever have seen it is on it was in Journal of Business Research. It was by Lim et al. 21 very good paper uh, in ADO. Uh, ADO stands for antecedent decisions and outcomes. These things are more or less same, but these are the ways to uh, design the things. Uh, it is not the way like I have said you it is not the thing you will use a particular framework like you will uh, you will use only 6w or you will use only TCCM you can modify you can integrate like this has I have taken this example from Lim at all but Lim at all have done they have combined two frameworks they have combined TCCM instead of TCCM they have uh, used only TCM you can also do that and ADO, they combined two frameworks. Similarly, you can combine for, uh, for your literature search, you can use 6W and for your structural, to give a structural shape to your paper, you can use TCCM, you can use also these kind of things. And how, this is not only the way you can uh, give a framework to your paper. I and my fellow author, fellow authors, but working on a paper, this was the paper. Let me uh, 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 let me change its size. This was the paper we were working, and it also published in MRQ somehow because I struggled a lot with this paper. This paper was on the mapping the field of behavior biases, a literature review, and uh, bibliometric analysis. The main problem of this paper was we were not able to do a we were not able to do a practical we, uh, to a uh, to a shape to this paper how to summarize all the literature then what we have done we do an interesting thing i will show you what was actually the main challenge with this paper the main challenge uh, was on this paper was that uh, although the behavior biases was an old topic and there were six reviews already there and we have a big challenge we were thinking that we have to settle for less but somehow we give this kind of framework we we divide our literature into three parts like heuristic prospect herding and we subdivide it into four categories three categories herding i mean you can also do that if if your paper is not uh, not if your paper is not fitted in any framework you can modify the framework you can design your own framework but it should have some base like for this we had some base we have some papers to justify this and luckily we got this paper published in mrq so you can do you should think in that manner uh, you 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 have to do everything in that manner. Uh, I think this is this was all about framework based review. Any doubt till this point? Sir, any doubt? It is clear, Simon. Okay, okay, sir. Okay. Okay, now bibliometric reviews what are actually bibliometric and what are some limitations we will discuss why i am not stressing you to singly focus on bibliometric i will also give you some uh, some uh, uh, clues on that you know bibliometric analysis uh, an analysis uh, analysis an extensive amount of published research by using different statistical tools to figure out what are the key trends, citations, co-citations, what are the themes, uh, year, country, author, journal, method, theory, and research problems, all this. And we have a lot of papers for it, lot of uh, open source tools for it. Like we have BibloShine is there, but BibloShine is not the only thing that is there. BibExcel is an excellent software. I enjoyed that BibExcel. Apart from BigExcel, uh, for page rank, I will discuss what is page rank. Uh, everything I will discuss. Page rank, GAPI is there. GAPI is also there for thematic mapping and thematic evolution. Most there is there. 
uh, side space is there side space is one of the excellent software which i use because its visualizations are excellent and they they use some new kind of algorithms that are not available in biblo shiny or bbexcel in side space they are there skymat is also an excellent opportunity you can see see that skymat and uh, side space these are the two software still now i don't have any paper on that i never use that but but i have seen but i have seen some problems of the softwares of uh, uh, biblo shiny or uh, bbexcel site space and skymat fulfill that purpose i personally like that and i will try to write a paper on that uh, using that site space particularly and they are easy to use there are there is no programming involved in any software even python has a particular library for it i forget its name it is also easy to use its visualization as visualizations are also very good i will check its name and uh, i will forward it anybody who wants it so before bibliometric you have lot of options i will suggest to you not to rely only on biblo shiny explore everything like for basic descriptives i use biblo shiny but for page rank and uh, citation analysis i use bibexcel and gapi similarly for thematic evolution i use gapi uh, and i will also use site space because in for thematic mapping what i have seen site space has excellent if you want to see the evolution of a field how field evolute site space is a good uh, option what it will do it will divide your whole time period like i want to work on factor investing and 50 years have been passed on factor investing first paper came in uh, 1972 near around 1971 or 72 50 year have been passed now what i want to do i want to divide the paper i want to divide the literature in five parts in five periods in five uh, frameworks 10 year frame, 10 year first 71 to 81 81 to 91 91 to 2001 2001 to 2011 2011 to 2021 i can do that in site space but these options are not there in biblo shiny or you have to manually work for that in site space you not need to do some extra work for that you can do that and uh, the person chen has developed this software the person is from korea or china i don't know but that person has made everything freely available you can check his youtube channel i will uh, try to give the link of that channel that that person has explained everything about site space you need not to worry about that you will learn everything in that so in bibliometric we do a lot of things like author analysis affiliation analysis country analysis citation co citation like this is one of the paper i like very much on bibliometric the paper is in ibr again the excellent journal ibr is a excellent journal for slrs and bibliometric all kind of reviews the paper was on 25 years of international business review it is a journal specific review uh, one another thing we all are junk and uh, we are all are in our starting stage even i am in my starting stages of research we got excited if someone got a paper like if if someone has a published a paper in ibr like this paper international 25 years of ibr uh, a, a bibliometric of a specific journal and we plan we will also do you cannot do that for these kind of papers when you are doing a when you are doing a bibliometric of a journal a editor or co editor of that journal send you invitation for that paper if you got invitation you can do that or you can do another thing you uh, before writing the paper you can uh, you can write a mail to the editor or co editor if he allows you then only start even for every topic you can do a after some preliminary work you can write a mail to editor or co-editor whether it will be a good idea or not especially for special issues 
if you are targeting a paper for special issues because special issues give you a lot of time uh, last day uh, i was searching a journal the journal was i think its name was journal of interactive marketing and they have announced a special issue on uh, blockchain in marketing and they have given a time till october 22 submission window is open till october 22 but it means you have an idea work on that idea for one one month work on and add that idea do a preliminary research on that then send a send an uh, inquiry to the editor or co-editor whether you will publish this kind of idea or not it is always a good practice and uh, honestly sometimes editor respond you sometimes they don't respond you but you can do that so what they have do they have uh, done a bibliometric of a special journal they explained everything i will i will explain everything in detail when we will discuss the reporting part uh, they have shown how much papers came in every year uh, they have given most productive author this is the standard practice when you when you give uh, information like productive author try to give everything that is possible but young researchers do young researchers see in Scopus or Biblo Shiny, there is one option coming like Simarjit has four paper. They put only total number of papers, TP. They report only. They did not report any quality parameters. Simar has only Simar has four paper on bibliometric or uh, hybrid reviews. But he is not a quality author. He has only six citations. Okay. Uh, so you should also report quality parameters like total citation h index g index recently abdc has introduced p ranking you can report p ranking how many papers have 100 citations 25 citations you can report these things quality parameters are also necessary uh, it will ensure that the author does not have quantity only the author has quality and it will show who which which are the authors who are more focusing on quantity which are the authors who are more focusing on quality it will gives you some glimpses okay similarly you can report different kind of institutions and you again i will again stress always report quality parameters along with quantity parameters that's why i have taken this particular paper this, that is the purpose because in most papers what you see people report universities country and their total publication people does not report 41 papers upasla university has 41 papers it has 1752 citations people don't report that 1752 citations people avoid quality parameters so i will stress you also uh, give a focus on quality parameters and uh, citations citation analysis uh, similarly co-citation of authors co-occurrence we will discuss all what are the themes and emerging trajectories and this is the main thing which which i have purposely did this when you write a bibliometric paper but i have seen i i i receive a lot of queries on linkedin and uh, on other social media platforms regarding bibliometric uh, from young researcher uh, what they do they do descriptive part very well means they do and they report all things what are the top authors what are but they does not report what are the core themes in their area what are the emerging trajectories in their their area why this happen this happened because young researchers rely only on softwares you need not to rely only on softwares you have to read the papers this so what software do software only uh, read title and abstract that is the major uh, limitation of the software software not read the full contact full full paper so for finding what are the core themes and emerging trajectories of the field you have to read the full papers when you read the full paper then you can say yeah these can be like for in my paper 
I have tried, I will show you in my first paper. Uh, we were, I have tried because I was <laughs> regularly uh, commented by the author. Simmer, you have not stressed much on uh, themes. So, like, like this. You can, you have to give your themes. Like my first theme is testing the uh, profitability, uh, testing the profitability of momentum strategy and explanation. Second theme is uh, sources of momentum profit. Third theme is improvement over traditional momentum strategies. Uh, fourth theme is momentum effect in Asia by credit markets. You have uh, this, uh, and this is a painful process. Painful in the process. Descriptives are very easy. Uh, your software will do all the process uh, uh, for descriptive. But this is the process where you have to read most of the papers and uh, you get the clues uh, and then you correlate the things for this. This best practices is to formulate a Excel sheet. Read the 100 papers and try to make the groups of the papers. Although you can get some idea from co-occurrence, co-citation, uh, bibliometric coupling, we will discuss. But when you did not get idea, you have to narratively do that. And I have done that this in a paper. Uh, financial bellowing. We were not able, we have used all the scientific method. We were not able to find the themes. And uh, we have to do manually, I know that take around two months for us but we have to do that manually so but it is an important uh, part at the same time you have to report four themes and emerging trajectories then is hybrid review what is the main limitation of the bibliometric reviews main limitation of the bibliometric review that always is uh, criticized that Bibliometric reviews uh, give very less stress to future directions, means it has a very less uh, to do in uh, uh, contributions. So what you can do? You can do two things. First, you can integrate a framework, like you can integrate 6W and TCM. You can integrate TCM and ADO, like Marine and Lim had done in 21 paper. You can do uh, Prisma and uh, TCM. You can do that. You can do uh, other things also. You means you can integrate different kind of framework and design a, your own framework or modify a framework. You can do that. Or second thing, what you can do, you can integrate. Uh, this is the secret source which has worked for me. That is what I have do. I have integrated the bibliometric and structured reviews. My all four papers are combinations. They are bibliometric and structured. They are not pure bibliometric. They are not pure structured. They are bibliometric and structured reviews. So I think hybrid review can work for everyone. You can look for these hybrid reviews. And there are plenty of papers on that. Most of the people these days are focusing on hybrid reviews. Uh, Another part is theory based reviews. What is theory based reviews? Although I have covered this, theory based reviews are you are analyzing the role of a specific theory in a subject area. Like people have worked TPA in e commerce, theory of sorry, T, uh, TPV, theory of planned behavior in social media marketing. People have done, people have done in e commerce and uh, Nowadays, I have seen one article on SSR and it is unpublished. People are trying it in machine learning context, uh, theory of planned behavior in machine learning context. You can do this. Uh, you can do this. Uh, you can focus on a particular theory or you can do another thing also. Um, but, but, but many papers have done this. People have given uh, almost I have seen six or seven paper on adoption theories. You can do that. Which theory has used in which context? Even uh, you can do this. There are plenty of papers on adoption theories. I have seen even one paper. I forget the name of that paper. That paper has 
more than thousand citation and uh, that paper explained very well about adoption theories you can do also that you if somebody has done in adoption theories in uh, marketing or social media you can do a new area blockchain is a new area ai is a new area uh, there are plenty of new areas you can do that uh, in that work uh, and you uh, you can uh, uh, similarly uh, apart from theory based reviews you can also do method based reviews i like that because many people have worked on event study methodology in marketing literature i have mentioned this paper baron at all the paper is very good you can see uh, and one of my uh, people have worked on sam sam in international business sam in international marketing people have worked there are plenty of options in it you can work on pls and report everything how people has uh, applied how people has done this even you can combine different methods even my second review paper from phd uh, this paper uh, this paper mapping the scientific research on alternative momentum investing actually this paper is a method based review but in this paper i have uh, i have done in this paper i have tried to given different methods for portfolio formation like i have given industrial momentum is one method second method is earning momentum third method is 52 week high momentum fourth is time series momentum fifth is risk managed momentum these were the five major approaches of momentum or five major methods of portfolio formation you can also do in the reviews even in your phd i can guarantee you uh, if you really seriously work you can have two or three review articles of different kind you can have structured review you can if you are working in primary you can have meta review you can have one hybrid review you can work on reviews it is an excellent opportunity especially when you are in first or second year you don't know about your uh, model and uh, you are struggling a lot and at the same time you are thinking about publications because nowadays publications are taking a lot of time b categories are taking 9 to 12 months uh, c category 6 to 9 months a category 1 year to 1 and 1/2 year and uh, this is these are the minimum time time may be more so you can start your work uh, with different kind of reviews so like this person has done uh, event uh, event study methodology in marketing uh, literature he has uh, reported everything uh, about event study which studies has used which things and another uh, options on uh, uh, primary especially for primary kind of guys not for uh, secondary kind of guys that do work uh, most on time series and uh, panel data the this option is not for them uh, meta analytical review uh, although i don't have much knowledge about it and i don't have a single paper on it but i i have seen for primary guys this is a good opportunity but it do uh, it focuses mainly on examining the quantity or volume of previous previous uh, research but it try to do it summarize the all the statistical assessments of the available data like uh, the principle behind which i think uh, is that like what the problem is that somebody has uh, uh, reported the uh, r square 72% somebody 80% somebody 71 somebody 23 uh, what we do Uh, in meta analytical we try to average out the things and we try to make it in a single level and try to find out what one single solution is that variable really explain another variable or not we try to do that in meta analytical meta analytical review and there are hundreds of papers on meta analytical review in recent year i have seen journal of academy of marketing science has a paper on it and uh, uh, entrepreneurship theory and practice is again very good journal uh, it has paper on it ibr has many paper on meta analytical review 
you can see that journals and there are lots of paper on meta analytical review and uh, in meta analytical review again different kinds are there meta sam is there meta sam i think is a uh, feasibly that is a good option you can go with that meta sam and uh, i will request neeraj sir if he give some light on meta sam because i don't know much about it honestly uh thank you simar uh, maybe we will do it in some other day i already have a playlist on the same on youtube okay. you please okay 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 you can see that list uh so on uh any any doubt till this point sir because we have covered the different kind of reviews so just a wonderful presentation and i hope it clarifies most of the doubts of the scholars uh, currently i don't have any doubt i think it's very very crystal clear okay okay thank you sir very big compliment for me because it is my first you know <laughs> now uh, i will discuss some common mistakes because these mistakes are uh, from my practical experience as a reviewer or as a writer or my friends new friends always ask me that questions and uh, some who have written the paper struggle their paper their paper are not published uh, i will try to uh, give you four or five problems and uh, please try to avoid that problems and find a answer from that problem before actually publishing your work first problem is that most of the researcher think that like i in early days uh, what i think i think that uh, people report that they get uh, 67 paper from keyword searching they get 32 paper from forward searching or backward searching i think they are just for writing purposes only but please uh, mind it and uh, please remember it always these are not for only for writing purposes these are first problem which the researcher face they don't give the complete information how the literature review was conducted they don't define the whole process you need to define the whole process like i i i i show you one of my paper jinesh's paper in that paper we have tried to do all things in a one figure uh, hope you are able to see my screen like this your paper should have like in each stage like but databases we have used we have mentioned we have used scopus only but keywords we have used what was our searching approach we have uh, defined boolean searches using truncated combination of two category of such things i will come on that what was the search strategy keyword and referencing reference searching through bibliometric databases what were the inclusion exclusion criteria again you have to define how much articles you get in initial search how much articles you get after first screening after deep screening deep screening means full 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 reading of the papers what was your final data set you have to define everything in a crystal clear manner you have to define in that manner that other person can replicate your work like you have to mention your full search query in your paper it is compulsory these days and what high tire journals do they put your search queries and they put it on scopus and they try to match every situation like they search you got you have written four four three two articles is pro four three two articles are there or not you have mentioned you have taken articles only from economics econometrics and finance category under scopus they will check whether you are uh, whether it is there truly there or it is just mentioned for writing it is actually checked so whatever you do you have to report this is the first thing and it should be crystal clear every process how many papers you get at each stage this should be explained if you fail to do that 
there are hundred percent chances your paper will be rejected okay your methodology should be crystal clear first point is that second is that which every second day or third day i have a phone call uh simmer uh, i have forty seven thousand research results simmer i have twelve thousand research research results scopus research result honestly forty seven thousand or twelve thousand even three thousand results is it possible for a researcher or for a team of three or four researcher to read ten thousand paper or twelve thousand paper is it possible realistically is it it, it it is not possible and from one experience uh, i was uh, reviewing a paper from uh, one journal uh, i cannot uh, mention the name of the journal uh, and one uh, paper was that uh, one uh, person have mentioned they have reviewed 5000 articles uh, and uh, uh, everyone knows 5000 article they have reviewed it is not possible realistically it is not possible if you are, if you are mentioning you have completed your study in 6 months it is not possible 5000 articles uh, so when i uh, as a reviewer when you give your comments you can also see the comment of other reviewers in some journals uh, when i check the uh, comments of other uh, reviewer reviewer has reviewer has uh, given the comments 5000 uh, papers is a completely a joke please provide me your reading list or your excel list where you have remained record and make note for every 5000 article so always try to speak truth and always try to limit your search not it should be not like that uh, like i uh, last day i was searching blog uh, uh, artificial intelligence and marketing i nearly got 2100 records and it is just artificial intelligence and marketing i not have used any of uh, full search things like for artificial intelligence blockchain is there deep learning is there machine learning is there supervised unsupervised there are thousands of words and even for marketing there are thousands of word. brand management is there other similar kind of words are there and i think if i put whole query it would be near, it would be near about six thousand six thousand articles but it means realistically it means you can't do a work on that you have to narrow down you can work on deep learning and uh, marketing you can work on uh, uh, artificial intelligence and digital advertisement so you have to narrow down this is always a good good practice and uh, in next session in next video uh, i will discuss how to uh, basically how to handle this problem because this is a common problem i think every researcher new researcher every third in my eyes every third query on uh, literature review uh, came from that search we have 47000 results or 11000 or even 6000 how we can proceed even i don't have an answer how you can 6000 articles realistically you can't i say uh, although it is a bad word to say no on someone's face but uh, you have to be honest i said uh, realistically it is impossible even if you mention that we have uh, 6000 articles and you somehow uh, complete your paper it is not going to publish in good journal at least in good journal it is not going to publish so this is the second problem which i think uh, every researcher uh, face uh, uh, next third which i face people don't interpret the results people are good in techniques uh, they report all the tables they report 10 tables they report 10 tables, 5 figures, even they report 12 tables. Uh, it is not about tables, it is about interpreted. Like I have already stressed you, if there is more work on artificial intelligence in China, what is the reason for that? You have to mention that. You have to interpret it everything. If there is more work on SAM, why there is more work of SAM? Why is important? 
you are explaining all the things that is a perfectly fine but why most of the peoples are failed to ration give rationalize like uh, what i see in most papers uh, in high time people used only scopus they mention one or two line i have used scopus because earlier papers have done this uh, or it is the widely accepted diplomatic database in our field uh, but the problem is that Scopus covered only 65% of management literature. Uh, Bab of Science covered 50%. Combinedly, they cover 95%. So, if a reviewer is aware about it, he will put a question about it. Uh, we 95% literature is there, 30% literature is you're missing if you are using Scopus. Earlier days, when I luckily got my first three papers, this question was not asked. But nowadays, this is the common cost, the common question that everybody asks. So rationale is important. You have to give rationale for uh, everything. And last but not the least, contribution of the field. Uh, many a days, people are doing most of bibliometrics. Uh, many people are doing, young researchers are doing it. But when uh, we are covering on discussion and uh, research direction section they take it very lightly they take it just as a part they take it they take it they take it just a papers part and they do they have to do it for the c uh, for the sake of paper descriptive summaries are okay your tables are okay but without doing any deeper analysis you can't do you can't uh, give any valuable contribution of the paper like uh, every time when i was uh, written a paper because i also suffered from the same days uh, which every researcher uh, is facing i think every young researcher faced every time this paper was revised about five or six times every time i have a comments about discussions and research directions so you have to mention all this in a table clearly what are the categories what are the issues what are the future research themes on future researchers can focus so this is the contribution of the paper so uh, this was all about we will stop we will now stop uh, search uh, sir you have any question no simon it's very clear very much okay so. okay uh, we will stop for some time uh, we will end this video and start new video in that video we will um, more focused on how to actually conduct the review planning the review conducting the review and reporting the review we will do that part in next video thanks everyone and uh, if you have any comments any suggestion give your comments and every type of criticism whether it is constructive or destructive it is welcome i love that okay thank you sir okay